Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video comes to us courtesy of a channel called Red Flag Journalism 2. It's got a whopping 55 subscribers. This seems to be a evidence video of a state trooper attempting to contract with him under duress. Uh, I watched a little bit of it. Yeah, that title's total clickbait and total bullshit. Um, it's about 19 minutes long. We're not watching all 19 minutes. Enjoy the video. For the record, reserve all rights delegated by God, protected by the Constitution. Did you swear an oath to protect and serve the Constitution, sir? Okay. I'm not here to answer any questions for you, okay? The reason being I stopped you on Trooper AJ with Florida Hive Troll because of that tag, okay? That tag I understand. Tag or anything doesn't seem to be an official tag. Is that a real tag? I don't it's know. actually a real tag. Okay. From which state? Well, it's actually from the Nationals. You ever heard of the Assembly? Okay. No, that's not out. It's, that's okay. It does not Hold on. I have documents. Okay, I do. Okay, can I see your can, Well, I'd still like to reserve all rights, okay? Delegated by God, protected by the Constitution, recognized in the UCC 1-308 without prejudice, I'm reserving all rights. Okay. Also, any actions commenced against me may be in violation of USC 18241, which is conspiracy to go against my rights, even intimidation, coercion, all those things, and my constitutional rights under color of law, as well as also 242 could be deprivation of rights under color of law. Please note that you have been informed um, I am doing everything under duress. I, you know, I have documents to prove that I'm a national, one of the people of the several states. This is a private automobile operating in a non-commercial capacity. I'm not operating in a for hire capacity, and uh, I, I am not engaging in any commercial use. So I'm not really technically driving because I'm not operating in a for hire capacity. I know we've all heard this before because he's a sovereign citizen. It's what they do. Well, technically, he's a state national because he knows what sovereign citizen means. So he's not going to want to be called that. Uh, 18 U.S.C. 241 does not apply. 18 U.S.C. 242 also does not apply. He stated right there at the end, oh, I'm not in commerce, so I can't be driving, but then quoted the Uniform Commercial Code at the beginning of the video. So it's like, are you intentionally trying to fuck yourself up in this argument, or are you doing it because you're dumb? Now, I do have documents that prove that I can travel, okay? I have them right here. Um, under corpus juris secundrums, and I have my documents as well as my, I have my ID to prove that I'm a main state national. So this is a part of the juris secundrum. The, the laws that are on the back of that plate are right here. Okay. Now, I know you are so probably, these are the case law too for the right to travel. Okay. Here's also what I need from you is a driver's license. Do you have a driver's license or ID? Um, if I hand you a driver's license, I'm technically not driving, but I do have. If I do it, it's under duress, but I'm not operating at a for hire capacity. So please note that you've been informed. I do have a legal valid driver's license. Thank you. Now, this vehicle was just bought. Where we're going is to the insurance company to go put insurance on it so we can register it. Okay. So the reason why that plate's on there is so that there is no knob plates at all. You understand? But that is a private. If you read that plate right here. That plate's on. not issued to you by state. It's not issued to you by government. Um, right? I'm not. I'm actually a living man. Hold on. Are you a living man? Yes. You're wasting everyone else's oxygen. Your plate is fake. Just because you write private on a piece of paper and slap that boy on the back of your car doesn't make it a valid plate. If you bought it online from Amazon more than likely, it's not a valid plate. Sorry. Uh, also, I, I wanted to address this. You guys look back here. The blanket. People are probably like, what's on the blanket? It's Nick Cage in a banana. I'll put the picture up somewhere. But yeah, this guy is an absolute joke. It turns out you can get insurance over the phone. I've done it for the last, what, decade? 15 years? You don't need to go anywhere to do anything for insurance. Sorry. Well, sir, you have a bill of sale, I think you, you, yes. the you're not understanding, sir. And that's okay, and I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, but yeah, appreciate it. right here, if you look at all these pertinent documents right here, here's me going to get my passport, um, here's my naturalization right here, out of the state of Maine, this is my identification, sir. I got so, you, I already got you ID. But I'm that's not really me anymore, because I'm no longer a part of the system. And you need to see that I'm actually a living man. That's exactly what I am recorded on the land and soil. I have a notarized copy of a letter of reciprocity. Here you go. 
I don't need that truck. I got your driver's license. That's all I need, okay? But technically, okay, I'm not. I'm just letting you know. I'm doing this under duress. I'm technically not driving. I haven't broken any laws. Um, but I do respect your job, and I'm not trying to insult you in any way. But I am reserving all rights, sir. And uh, God bless you. I understand you have your beliefs, okay? And that is but we're entitled to that, Absolutely. especially under the common law. And I will reserve under the common law, which is UCC 1-103.6, which brings the... Do you happen to have insurance? So you say you don't have car insurance? We're going to get insurance right now, because she just bought the vehicle. That's what we're going to do. It's actually her vehicle. What's that? It was purchased on the 15th. I was yeah. sick. She's been sick. She's an elderly you lady. Didn't just buy the car. You said you literally just buy the car and you. Okay, I apologize. I should be a little bit more articulated. I apologize. Yep, no problem. There he goes quoting the UCC again. I find it hilarious that sovereign citizens and Moors put so much into having a notarized anything. I've gone into this a million times in my videos. Just because a notary signs something, stamps something, doesn't mean that document is factually or legally accurate. It's just saying, hey, you're the person that signed this. Yep, sure as shit. Have a good day. It's all that that means. And you can't opt out of the law. You can't just go anywhere and say, oh yeah, the Constitution, the laws of the land, they don't apply to me because of reasons. Because I live in fantasy land. Those, those don't apply to me. All right, sir. The, yeah. so I was able to run the VIN number of the car. I just had to verify, obviously, it wasn't stolen or anything like that. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the vehicle is not registered even by its previous owner, okay? So it's never been, or recently it hasn't been registered, does not have a plate assigned to it. Right. Okay. With that being said, you're going to get charged for driving without the tag on that vehicle. Okay? How come? You're going to get, because, again, you, this vehicle is not registered with the state, okay? That's what we're going to do. we got to get insurance first okay. and then register the vehicle. So there should be a grace period. And under your own discretion, I, I'm not breaking any or violated any kind of laws. Again, you know, um, you know, this is private property. And I understand that it's her vehicle to go register into the state. I'm just traveling to go to the insurance place, John Beck, which is on Atlantic Boulevard. Okay. I guess I'm saying too much because you don't really care. It's not that I don't care. It's that. We yeah, but I, I don't have any cash. I'm a law enforcement officer. Yeah. But the these laws. are statutes and anything that's unconstitutional. And I'm working with you as much as I can here, okay? But understand that you're driving. But this is extortion insured. because there is no corpus delecti. Okay. There's not a body. I didn't do anything wrong. Uninsured vehicle. Yeah, okay. but that's not actually okay. breaking the law. Okay. And in awesome. fact, we're going that's to get insurance. To take to the judge and talk to him about that, okay? We're going to get insurance right now. Just do me a favor, sit tight till I, till I finish the paperwork, I'll get you the paperwork, okay? Just sit tight. I'm not going to tell you... I think you just need anything. to make money. Listen, I'm not going to tell your vehicle or anything, but okay. understand that if you drive down the road and the next officer stops you, they might take your vehicle. They might impound your vehicle at that point because it is unregistered and uninsured. But that's what we're going to do is insure it. Okay, well, that's not how it works. you got to take care of that before you get on the road. How come you can't... Uh, hold on, I have a question, please. I'm going to roll down the window a little bit. I don't understand why at your own discretion, knowing that you are also to protect my rights, which even Congress recognizes the right to travel. So I said this guy was dumb before. Oh, how can you charge me with not having a plate, not having registered, uh, because you don't have a plate and it's not registered? Oh, I'm going to get the insurance. You, you can do that by phone. You literally are recording it vertically as shit. So I'm assuming you're doing it from a phone. You can literally call Geico. Yo, cool lizard gecko man. I need some insurance. And he'll hook you up. Ugh, Sinise vs. Roe. Go look it up. It'll give you the three points. You know what? I'll do it real quick because in my head, my laptop probably has it saved. Yes. Shocker. It's right there. Sinise vs. Roe. Scroll down a little bit. Yada, 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 yada. Right there. The three points. The right to enter one state and leave another. The right to be treated as a welcome visitor rather than a hostile stranger. For those who want to become permanent residents, the right to be treated equally to native-born citizens. So again, at what point did I just read that to you guys? Does that say Congress recognizes that you have the ability to drive your shitbox wherever you want? Oh, that's right, it doesn't. And then corpus delecti. What's the body of evidence that a crime took place? Uh, probably the fact that you don't have a fucking plate. There's not a, a, a person laying in the road that you hit because that's not what it means. But because you're so dumb, again, that's what you think it means because you heard it on a YouTube video. 
there's actually women that need to leave one state to go get abortion to another. Wait, you are free to travel, walk out That's what I'm doing. Walk by foot, okay? But this is so also an automobile. Finish, talk earlier for quite a while, so let me finish talking. Well, actually, you're... Point, okay? All right. Uh, when you get behind the vehicle, okay, this vehicle is not going anywhere unless you put input and steer it, complete brake, operating brakes, operating the gas, operating all those buttons and things in the car to make the vehicle move. At that point, you're driving a vehicle, okay? You're free to travel on foot. Driving? You want to, bike, however you want to. But when you get behind the wheel and you're operating a motor vehicle, you are driving. Okay? If you check now, you out Chicago. You can change that definition however you want to, but you it's are not, driving. It's not about to. even USC 30. The vehicle doesn't move on its own, does it? I Listen, there is a difference between it locomotion. It, on its own. it says it right here. So listen, just sit tight. I'm going to get you some paperwork and I'm going to advise you not to drive. Figure out a different way to get out of here and go home because if you get back on the road, you can get towed. Okay, so just sit tight for me. I'll get the paperwork. I may be bad for this, but I'm going to assume he was trying to say Chicago versus XYZ bus company. Chili's tried to quote this. Many lawyers have completely debunked this. He tries to use a case that he thinks means one thing when in reality means something completely different because, again, they're idiots. So I'm glad he kind of didn't finish it because he saved himself from looking like an even bigger jackass if we're being honest. He's trying to quote Black's Law Dictionary, second edition from 1910. Driving and employee, that's why I put the definition of employees to make use of something. The officer literally said the basic definition of employee without saying the word employee, and I loved that because it's right in line with what I was thinking. <clears throat> How's it going? Thanks. All right, here's the paperwork you provided me earlier in regards to when you purchased the vehicle, okay? Hey, can I get your name and badge number, though, just yeah, for the absolutely. record? Okay, right down here on the bottom is both my name and my badge number, okay? And I'm going well, to I want you to pronounce it. I just oh, want... Oh, absolutely. My name oh. is Trooper Ali Agish. Ali Agish. Okay. The badge number is 4213. Thank you. Okay, all right. Yep. I'm going to give you two tickets today. None of them are criminal, okay? They're regular traffic tickets. One is for not having proof of insurance with you, okay? You have 30 days. If you need more time, you can call this number. The fine is 116. However, if you can prove to the court that you have for insurance, follow option number two or three. One of those will apply to you. You should be able to get this dismissed for a small admin fee. Otherwise, the option number five is you can contest this ticket in court. There's your copy for that, okay? The second is a copy for failing to present a registration for the vehicle. You have 30 days. If you need more time, you can call this number. You can simply pay the citation or you can go to court, okay? Okay. Uh, you will probably have to present to the court. So just license, for the vehicle. that's it? I'm sorry? So you're basically just giving me the tickets for not having insurance and registration? Correct. Your thank you. Your license is valid. Yeah, yeah, thank Your you. Is good, yeah. Because really, that's what we're going to do, a Trooper. Right. So if we, can we please be on our way and go do that? Because it's an accomplishment so, so that I can go to the court and then get it thrown out. Okay, can you do I, me a favor? Cause I like, would advise you not can, to drive this vehicle, but I'm just, okay. the next officer can. I'm, well, I'm, can I say something? Absolutely. I'm from Maine, and in Maine, right, okay. like, they will give you a warning, okay? And then if they see you abused, it's over. They put your name and everything into a record that this trooper had already stopped this person or this police officer, and then if they don't take care of the problem, then when they see the person, they pull them right over. So I'm going to break it to you guys, and if this guy's watching the video, I guess it'll be broken to him as well. You want to know why the officer didn't just give you a warning and let you drive away? Well, it's because of what you said. You try to do the whole sovereign citizen, state, national, same thing, bullshit scam. The car was already not registered to you, not registered to your mother, and not registered to the previous owner. So the officer's thinking in his head, well, this motherfucker's never going to do this shit. He's just saying it so that he can get a warning and get away with it. If I put paper on him now, it's going to force him to correct his stupidity. And that's why he's not just, oh yeah, man, you're good to go. Because he has common sense. And so can you do the same thing? No, uh, the, generally the way, the way we do it here, okay, you get your citation, you take care of the issues. That's what we're going you, to do. We and were, then you go see a judge and tell him, listen, I took care of all of this. And at that point, the judge has the discretion to go and dismiss it. I'm going to put the window down. I got to turn on the thing to put the window down. So I'm not arguing with you and I respect what you're saying. And uh, I'm going to honor what you're doing because I know that this is your job. Um, you did say they're non-criminal. I don't, I really feel that a traffic infraction is not actually a crime. There was no corpus delecti. This is more of a contract. You needed the driver's license to prove that I'm contracted with the state. But see, I want to unplug from the state. I don't, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a Native American.
No, he didn't get your license to see if you were contracted. The Supreme Court says the states can require you to have a driver's license. And to my knowledge, all 50 states require you to have a driver's license. So he was checking if you were able to drive. It's that simple. And again, stop using corpus delecti the wrong way. But I'm not going to argue semantics with you. What I'm going to say is that, um, you know, I respect the fact that you are doing your job. And this is what you're being told what to do, okay? And I'm not going to be prejudiced against that. Appreciate that. What I would like, though, is I know Florida is a crazy place. I'm not from here. I feel like an alien. I really do. Uh, everybody's either into drugs or they're doing all these crazy things. So I know that there's a necessity for police, definitely, okay? There really is. But because Maine's smaller than Florida, it, there's a smaller condensed rural areas whereas here it seems so spread out that there's multiple different jurisdictions within where we're at from one point to the next does that make sense yes so you know what i'd like to do is be recognized as a real actual american that you know you swore an oath to protect a real one of the people okay i'm not a u.s citizen i'm really not so i'm gonna go take care that continue along my way journeying to a John Beck insurance where they're going to give us a deal on our insurance instead of ripping us off at these other major other places like State Farm and then when we go back to our small little hunky dunk country town that you will never probably drive through okay um, you won't ever see us again and then we'll get it registered at the DMV in Stark does this make sense or Keystone yeah okay I know the place yeah so we're going to go, we're only going to John Beck because he can help us with affordable insurance. Okay, so my brain translates everything in a sovereign citizen in real time because I've just watched so many of these videos. So what I heard was, I'm going to go to this little tiny insurance company. They're going to probably give me a 24-hour, 48-hour, 72-hour insurance so that I can get this vehicle back to our podunk town where I'm never going to get insurance because you're never going to see me again. And then I'm going to register it somewhere else because you're never going to see me again. And in my head, the officer's going, thank God I wrote the tickets, because if you don't have it registered now, and you haven't had it registered in the past, the previous owner didn't have it registered, what makes me think that you're ever going to get it registered? So in my head, the officer's going, I think I made the greatest decision ever. And going back a little bit, I forgot to touch on it. It seems like this officer, sheriff, deputy, I forgot which one it was already, made it a fix-it ticket for the judge. If that makes sense. It seems like if this guy got all the shit together, he'll go to the judge and the judge will say, yep, dismissed. But instead of just saying thank you, he's trying to argue it on the side of the road because he knows in court he has no shot. That's why I was going there. Right. And I know that you're doing your job. I know that um, you are probably preferring that I don't. But the only reason why you pulled me over is because of that tag, right? That That's it. Yes. That I didn't violate no traffic laws or anything like that. I was following the common law speed of the land, on the land. Well, you bought, you brought, you broke the law when you. Put That's that not breaking the law. Vehicle, okay? That well, is gonna, a violation of a disagree. statute or a penal code. We're gonna agree to disagree, and my traffic stop is now over. Unless you actually have any questions about the traffic citations I've issued, yep. I'm not gonna get with you. I'm trying to treat you as humane yep. as possible. Yep. Can I be on my way? I'm molested now. I have the tickets. I'm going to go to court. Please look at me as a decent human you're being. Not, you're not detained, but I will strongly advise you not to continue driving because the next officer that pulls you over, they can impound you here. And, but you're not detained. You're free to go. Yeah. You don't think they'll do the same thing? It's up to the officer discretion, and they might impound your vehicle, or they might give you another ticket. It's going to be ultimately up to them. So you don't think that they'll just be like, listen, I respect what you're doing. Get this thing home? No, because you... Dude, it's, it's an unregistered vehicle. It's uninsured and unregistered. You can get insurance from your house before you ever get on the road in a vehicle. No. So there's absolutely no reason to be... They, they will always do a quote and tell you to come down. Bullshit. So I had to so go down. Go, what about insurance? That's what we're going to do. Well, you can do that online. No. Again, that, I'm not going to get into that. I'm just, I'm just trying to explain to you what might happen if we can continue driving and you get pulled over by county, by city... They have the discretion to impound this vehicle and send you off. They don't. Right. I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay. Inf I know you have already closed the encounter and uh, I'm not arguing with you. I'm letting you know, though, through my experiences, they always call you and then they need to take pictures of the vehicle. 
They need to do the VIN number. They need to see the vehicle as they insure the vehicle. And they'll always call you down for a quote, and then you get uh, either a higher or lower quote than they offered. Okay. But oh, well, I appreciate you. Welcome, you. Thank you, sir. Yep, no God bless you. Okay, so that's the end of the video. He got his tickets. He went down swinging till the end, till I cut it off at 20 minutes. He's still trying to say absolute nonsense. Leave it in the chat. In 15 years of having insurance on my vehicles, I've never once ever had to go to an insurance place. I double-checked the time for this video. He uploaded it two months ago. I don't know when it took place, but if it was uploaded two months ago, it couldn't have been too far past that. You can do it all over the phone, my guy. I don't know why you have to lie about that. The officer was more than nice. He was just trying to, hey, man, you did this, this, and this. You fucked yourself. Like, maybe you could have argued, oh, it's... It's not registered, you're on your way to register, but you threw a knowingly false plate on the back and then tried to give me some state national bullshit excuse. Like, go eat a dick, sovereign citizen. Like, flat out. Everybody have a good rest of your day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Peace.